what it takes to build a career in biotech management well our country and the world is seeing a boom in the biotech industry all thanks to pharmaceuticals and biopharmaceuticals now at the same time a lot of students come to me and say i don't have any interest in research i don't want to get into dry lab i don't want to get into marketing and sales i want to get into biotech management how can i do that so this video will try to help you first things first what are the educational qualifications you require to build a successful career in biotech management that will answer so you need a basic biotech degree at the undergraduate level it can be a 3 year 4 year bsc degree or a btech degree bs degree internationally and then followed by that if in case you want to scale above the you know corporate ladder then probably a masters but not an mba so i want to make it very very clear that you do really don't need a mba in biotech management to become a member of biotech management group but instead what do you need is something which i'm about to tell you next so you need a bachelor's to get started or a masters okay so of course both to get started either a bachelor's or b plus m that is bachelor's plus masters now once you have got these two degrees or whatever degree you have now you have to pick a small intern position in any of the companies that's the first step work in that company and especially startups because in big pharmaceutical companies you cannot get to the biotech management so easily and so fast only in small startup you can get started fast and this mantra i have helped i have used with several students several bio professionals and i have placed them in biotech management so from that experience i am telling you so join a startup as a intern or as low level employee no problem even if they are paying you very less salary now start showing promise whatever you do do it with lot of conscience a lot of leadership quality show teamwork and uh, of course if the leadership wants you to have some kind of research experience gain that experience also understand how that startup's leadership operates what are the requirements and then you develop those business skills now what are the business skills it is decision making skills accounting skills communication skills interpersonal skills negotiation skills understanding when to speak what right and now there are some courses i'm not saying that all the mbas are bad but there are some courses which help you so yeah if in case you want to do mba please do it but it won't help you it may be just for another fancy degree on your cv right now we'll come to the next aspect and that will be gain experience so in that startup gain experience for at least 3 years okay whatever role they are providing you take it and tell it very clearly to the ceo and the management that i want to be a part of the management so that i can help this company grow they will really appreciate that and then you build a network build a professional network associate with people around you on linkedin offline with other people so that people recognize you participate in events go to conferences participate in seminars if possible participate as a key speaker in those events and remember that you have to pursue specialized roles and not just a broad role so you should also you will obviously start as a entry level position then you will get to the mid level position but if you want to get to the senior management position then you need to show a lot of reputation lot of trust you need to win and that is where biotech management is not about degree it's about experience it's about winning the trust of the company so once you have that the next step will be stay informed because you joined the small company your responsibility is to make it big and in the process in the meanwhile if you are getting a good, good job in a some other company which is a biopharmaceutical company take it so keep looking at resources stay inf informed understand the industry trends and implement it within your organization be always open to innovation and if anyone comes up with new innovation always appreciate that followed by that you have to always do continuous learning so i am saying a big no to the mba part but i'm still saying that you have to pursue some certification courses some skill development courses um six sigma whatever professional development courses are that you can pursue that and you can also seek mentorship from senior professionals who are doing similar jobs now at the same time improve on your communication skills leadership skills decision making skills creative thinking skills problem solving skills and of course you can learn a lot from your surroundings 
and start looking at what are the sectors which need biotech management. So obviously, like I said, pharmaceuticals and biopharmaceuticals, then medical devices, then agri-biotech. These are the three major segments in our country where you require uh, biotech management and badly. So you can get in there and you can see there are people who are called as entrepreneurs who start a company and there are intrapreneurs who join biotech management and make it enable the company, right? You're going to be that enabler of the company. Now followed by that leverage technology, information technology, digital health and multiple such aspects combine your scientific expertise, your leadership skills, your business skills and stay ahead of the competition. That's how you can push your company towards success. That's how you can be a part of the biotech management. You don't need an, any other degree apart from a BSc, MSc degree. You don't need an MBA. All you need is take initiative, be a part of a startup, help it grow, keep taking initiatives, keep pushing hard, go beyond the limit, and then you can be a part of the biotech management. So that's all for today's session. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything you would like to ask, feel free to ask in the comment section. See you. Take care. Bye.